Well, it is a pleasure to be here with you this afternoon. We have, what, kindergartens all the way through 12th grade here, right? So it's just an awesome pleasure to be with you here today. We are going to honor somebody in your school district who was an extremely special, awesome person. So we want to welcome you to the 12th annual Charles E. Lakin Outstanding Teacher Award for 2019 here at South Page School. It's a big deal. $10,000 to the winning teacher. Did you know that? A teacher today gets $10,000 and $2,500 for that teacher's respective school. So. Is that I am told that this person is the epitome of motivated and a dedicated teacher. That this person is truly genuine. They help you be better without making you feel embarrassed, ridiculed, or small. And that's perfect. That's what we really want to hear because that tells us that this teacher is going above and beyond and they truly are meeting the credentials that we have for this outstanding teacher. So with all of that said, do you guys want to know who got it? Yeah. All right, can I get a drum roll from y'all? All right, this year's winner for the 2019 Lakin Foundation Outstanding Teacher Award is Miss Karen Guthrie. <laughs> be able to do that, right? I think so. I think so. Uh, congratulations to you. Can you just describe your feelings right now if you're able? Uh, for a lot of years, I've wanted somebody from South Page to get this. I love this school, and there's a lot of Lakin teachers here. That's, I've waited a long time to hear South Page. How about hearing your own name? Oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> Why do you love South Page so much? You know, we catch a lot of crap from time to time for being a small school and all the negatives that go with it but just not often enough do you hear this is a family and a kid comes in get a new student today and they're part of the family right away and you just can't say that about many schools yeah, welcome to the family huh yeah, <laughs> yeah all right um for those who don't know how long have you been here where are you from a little bit about your family Holy cats, that's quite the throng over there, so just tell them a little bit about you and your background. I haven't seen a lot of them since Christmas, so hi. <laughs> um, well, I've been here forever. I went to school here, I've taught here. If my math is right, for 23 years, I'm the English teacher, my sister's a math teacher. Um, I went away to college and I just knew I wanted to come back and teach here, and this is where I've always been. And, I guess this is my last year, so <laughs> I don't know where to go with that. But my heart, my heart's always going to be in this district. Yeah, excellent. How about that? Let's give her a big round of applause. Right there. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk a little bit about the support you get from your administration and also, of course, your fellow teachers who are so terrific, too. Well, that's just another thing about a small school because everybody's got each other's backs. If somebody has... Um, an assignment they need to get done with students, they run out of time, you swap and you make it work. And everybody knows the kids, sorry, but we know all of you. And we know like almost everything about you. So if you're struggling, we all see it and we all work together. And that's what teacher lunches are actually about. <laughs> Little kept secret there. Um, but we, we got a thumb on you guys all the time. And yeah. it's because we care about each and every one of you. Every teacher here does. When we talk about the, the Lakin Award, we talk about the fact that teaching is a calling what do we mean by that, and what does it mean to you to, to, that this has been a calling for you? When I was eight, I wanted to be an astronaut and a marine biologist um, and all that good stuff that I, I suppose most of you have been there. But when the reality time came, 
I liked helping other students. I liked it when I was a student. And I think a calling just means there's something about helping somebody struggle through something and seeing the light bulb go on over their head. And it just makes it worth all the struggles the rest of the time. So keep working for the light bulbs. Yeah, keep working for the light bulbs. We don't expect you to go through all these, but give us an idea of who's over here to the south. Some of these wonderful, great looking people. Oh my goodness, where to start? You don't have to do them all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, my husband and mother leading the front of the pack. Marge Smith has put a lot of children through this school district and grandchildren. And geez, I think they're like all here. <laughs> so many of them, three brothers, three sisters. And, and I'm so proud of all of them. And my in-laws is my mother-in-law over there. Hi, mother-in-law. <laughs> and some of my best friends, the Drennans, who are involved with the school district in every way, shape, and form, too. It's a lot of love over there. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of love. Chase, my college son, <laughs> who just graduated from South Page last year. FaceTiming, I think. He is. Chase is here. I learned how to do that, too, this year. So. <laughs> wow. One final question for you here. $10,000, a nice little chunk of change. What might you do with $10,000? You've had a lot of time to think about it, right? <laughs> oh, I've got about 20 ideas in my head right now. <laughs> You're not getting it, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> he just blinked out. He's gone. Right? Boy, I don't know, but the Bahamas are looking pretty good right about now. How about that? Yeah, All right, fantastic. Let's give her a huge round of applause one more time. Karen Becker. Right there, we don't want to get team leader Mary Hay Braun, who is here today, right over here. Mary, let's give her a big round of applause. Very instrumental in making this happen every year. And now let's bring on your superintendent, Mr. Tim Hood, sir. Hey. Hi. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, we had to keep this quiet for a long time. <laughs> so. We weren't sure we were going to pull that off, but we did. Yeah, you did. So, so anyway, um, as most of you know, I've been here about a little under two years, and Karen was one of the first people that uh, said hi to me when I took the job. So um, she's uh, an outstanding teacher. She puts in a lot of hours, and uh, she uh, also is the chief negotiator. And you learn a lot about people when you negotiate contracts with them. And she always put students and people first. So to me, that always told me a lot. So I'm, I'm really very proud to have her as part of our staff. And uh, we wish her all the luck as her future endeavors. So congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you. Thank you.